Hi guys, we are on VRM24.com and today we are going to the assemble Xiaomi Poco F4. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back core to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to detaching the back core. For this we use a thin plastic film, we carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and run it along, cutting off the adhesive paste. As always, we need to be careful in the camera area so as not to accidentally damage the lenses. And we remove the back cover. On the back cover we have only the gasket presented. After that we need to unscrew the screws at the top. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 If the screws are hard to remove, we can additionally use a magnetizer. If the screws do not come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. It is better to place the screws on a special surface in a certain order so that nothing can be mixed up during reassembly. And we use tweezers to take out the screws that are stuck. Then we move on to detach the top cover, the cover that hides the motherboard. We use tweezers with the ceramic tips primarily to avoid shorting anything on the motherboard. As always, we find the right place where we can gently hook and leave the cover. So carefully hook it in the right place and lift it up and try to detach the cover. In our case, for some reason, the cover was glued in several spots. And we remove the cover on the cover as we have antenna tracks. Then we need to disconnect the two battery connectors with a non-metallic tool. We disconnect the connectors and proceed to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. For this we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 It is also better to place the screws in a specific order just in case. And after removing the screws, we need to detach the cover at the bottom. Still, we need to find the right place where we can pry and leave the cover. We carefully hook and leave the cover, but we can't remove the cover with a speaker because on the cover we have a small antenna board and the coaxial cable is connected to this small board. And it is easier for us to detach the coaxial cable than to remove the small board. So we disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the motherboard, we release the coaxial cable itself from the display frame. We traditionally have the coaxial cable in the dedicated recess. For some reason, the coaxial cable in our case was also glued. So we carefully detach the coaxial cable and remove the cover with a speaker, antenna board and coaxial cable. And then we need to disconnect the interboard cable connector. We disconnect the connector of the display cable. We can turn off the part of the cable that has the card connector at the end. We turn off the card connector and we need to detach the subboard. 
we find the right place where we can gently pry, lift and remove the subboard. We carefully lift it up, take out the subboard. We see that there is nothing in our way and, and it turns out that on the back side we also have a coaxial cable connector. We disconnect the connector and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port and the microphone on the back side. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor and the card connector. And now a quick traditional test of the microphone hole. In this model the microphone hole in the display frame is L-shaped. There is a gasket at the end of the hole, the microphone body itself is located on the opposite side of the microphone hole and if we insert something into the microphone hole we simply can't damage the microphone in this way. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector, we disconnect the interboard cable connector, we disconnect the second interboard cable connector, we disconnect the connector for the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor. We can disconnect the front camera connector, but we can't remove the front camera yet. We can also disconnect the large rear camera connector, which we also can't remove yet, as they are glued to the display frame. However, we can detach the two rear cameras. We carefully remove the cameras and put them aside. After that, we can detach the motherboard. As always, we need to find the right place where we can gently pry up and remove the motherboard. Check that nothing is in the way, carefully lift it up and check that the cameras and the camera cables are not in the way too. And so, slightly rocking it, we detach the motherboard. As we can see, the back side of the motherboard is covered with a thermal pest. And we move on to detaching the cameras. The cameras are firmly glued to the display frame. So, we need to be really careful not to pick up the cables, so as not to accidentally damage the cables. We need to pick up the base of the cameras and be extremely careful. And we remove the large rear camera. As we can see, on the back side of the rear camera we have a copper heat dissipating foil. And we move on to detaching the front camera. The front camera is also pretty firmly glued and we need to be extra careful that we don't accidentally, with a tool, hook the lens. In the same way, we hook the edge and carefully detach the front camera. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally, for Xiaomi, we have two brown tabs with the letters A and B, which need to be unwrapped. Then we need to read the description, which says that we need to unwrap the, all the tabs and pull the white A tab upwards. So we unwrap the tabs and pull the white A tab upwards, thus detaching the battery. We may notice that under the battery there is a transparent protective coating that protects the interboard cables. And this is the end of our disassembly, thank you for watching and see you around or in the next videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.